Hi, my name is Catherine Wendt with Syscon and thanks for taking a moment of your time. Today I wanted to share with you uh, four strategies that were the focus points of a presentation I heard by Damon John. He was um, a speaker at an event that I was at several months ago and uh, he gave a great presentation from the stage. Um, he talked a little bit about being a young man, uh, some of his enterprise efforts of making money, ultimately loving the rap scene and what he wanted to do with that, moving into his clothing line, FUBU, and how that came to be and all the hard work that went into that, and then on to his role with Shark Tank and the books that he's been writing. So he covered all those things in the presentation in a very fun way. But here are the four takeaways. So number one, invest in people. Something that he's saying the Shark um, members do all the time. Yes, they're looking at companies, but they're investing in people. And he's suggesting to us that we continue to invest in people our clients, our employees, the people around us, both. Uh, a second one was don't be reactive, be responsive. And some of the things he was talking about here is rather than always responding to the trends and what we see in media, going out and setting some trends, being ahead of it, uh, being an innovative, going out and staying ahead of things. He feels that that was something that really brought him the success in his clothing line and some of the other things that he had done. Third one was be true to your word. And he tells an interesting story where he was offered a very nice contract with a well-known name and he had accepted it. Right after that, he was approached about being on Shark Tank and it would have been a conflict. So he had already given his word. He went back to the Shark Tank people and said, I'm sorry I gave my word for this other project. They said, well, we respect that. The other project got wind of his offer for Shark Tank, went to him and said, can we release you from this? We believe this Shark Tank is a good thing for you. And they let him out of it. So be true to your word and you never know what people will step up with. The fourth one was, remember, you are the brand. So he talks about the iconic big brands, you know, Nike, Apple, the images, um, coming up with two to five word statement that kind of says who the brand is or what the brand is. That's a little bit hard for us and our smaller businesses, but good to keep in mind. But then he went on and he talked about, be careful about your social posts. You are the brand. What are you putting out there in videos? What are you tweeting about? What are you responding about? What are you saying on Facebook? Is that how you want to be represented? And some of us don't think about that when we're thinking about Facebook, which is family and personal, but that stuff's out there for everybody to look at. And he says, not only you, but what about your staff? What about the key people in your business? What are they posting and what does that say about them? Because they represent your brand as well. So those were the four topics, uh, key takeaways from his conversation with all of us. He did some great Q&A at the end also. There was a lot more to this presentation. I would encourage you to check out his books. He talks about several of these stories in the books that are out there. And if you have a chance to see him, check it out. Thanks for your time and I hope you have a great rest of your day.